On the west coast of Florida, overlooking the Gulf of Mexico, stands the Church of Scientology's advanced religious retreat and spiritual mecca, the Flag Land Base. Comprised of more than 40 buildings across a nine square mile grid, totaling more than two million square feet, Flag is the literal hub of the Scientology world. Go ahead. Hey, Carol. Hi. Why did you join the Sea Organization? In 1982, November. And you were welcomed by? Wayne Bumgarden. Debbie Cook's husband. That's right. He gave you the big welcome to the flag landing. Yes, he did. Mm. He was in charge of all the new new recruits coming. To I, flag. See. I see. I mm see. -hmm. Carol, you made a lot of money for the church. Oh, yes. You were a registrar. Yes. And your job was to get them to stay on the flag land base. Right, in one of our hotels or motels. It's an ethics offense for someone to rent out their room outside we, a flag. Yes, it was. that's what we were instructed to say and try to prove in some fashion that uh, it was LRH's intention for you to stay on the flag land base and not anywhere else. Raking the bucks for right. the church. Yeah. You were responsible to be sure that the penthouse was rented every day of the year. Yeah, penthouses, yes, double. Oh, there are two of them? Yes. I see. Okay. Now, you had an encounter with David Miscavige personally on this. Tell me that story. I did. Uh, David Miscavige came to me and said, I want to tour the penthouse right now. And I had the audacity to tell him, no, the, the guest is sleeping and we're not, I'm not going to wake her. And well, a few minutes later, a senior exec came running up to me and said that what I had done was unforgivable. And I was ordered off post right then and there and to sit down and write 20 pages of crimes before I could come back on post. What had you done to David Miscavige? I told him no. I dared to tell him no. Did you show contrary intention into his universe? That's what I did. I, I showed counter, I put counter intention there. So he, it, it stopped him, and that wasn't okay with him, so he took me off post. So you busted off post. And you have to write up crimes. Right. I see. 20 pages. They didn't accept 10 pages? No. Mm. I wrote big. <laughs> <laughs> the sadism of punishment seems to be escalating. Were you punished for not renting out these two penthouses? Yes, absolutely. If I did not fill the penthouses, which were $750 a day, each day, then after you've already worked 12 to 14, 16 hour a day, then you gotta go wash greasy pots. Is this For an hour. Is this Flag's version of the bilges? Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the bilges. But Carol, you signed a religious pledge. You were joining some spiritual religious organization and flogging penthouses for hundreds of dollars um, and making quarters. How is this religious? You know, I looked at that and I don't see any spirituality on that mm. or how it helped that person be more spiritual to be up there. But I sometimes would promote that. It's a more spiritual experience to be up so high and to be able to look out over the horizon. You know? <laughs> that Scientology Inc. is a runaway money extortion racket. Absolutely. It's all about the cash. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you blew twice. Yes. Blue means fled. Can't stand to it flee. anymore mm -hmm. and you flee. Right. The first time you blew was 1989? Right. Okay. What led up to you wanting to just get out of there? Well, I had a very senior executive uh, running me as the, I was the commanding officer of the Fort Harrison Hotel, responsible for keeping the hotel full, the restaurants running smoothly, good service, that type of thing, right? And events going off, uh, having events. So, and plus I was being also run to get new uniforms for all the hotel staff. So this was done after hours. So I would work all day and then do that. I didn't have any kind of um, study or enhancement or anything, just uh, running through the night and sometimes getting an hour or two of sleep. So I was a lot of sleep deprivation and I just couldn't take it anymore. And I said... One hour or two hours sleep a night? Often. 
often. And then coupled with the fact that uh, we'd, we'd always had family time, which was a time the parents could go see their kids. And I had, my, my kids were five and seven years old. And in 1989, that came to a stop. Not allowed to see your kids at all. Well, what they would do, instead of us going to them, they would bring, they would bus them in for, you know, a half hour or so. We would go over to this place and, and eat with them and see them for a little bit. But it wasn't in really quality time, you understand. But soon that died out too. So, so eventually there was nothing. Couldn't see your children. Right. Even if they were five or seven years old. Right. Not allowed to visit for even an hour. So I, I took them with me. And I fled to a motel nearby, actually. And I was fortunate that nobody found me. Mm. And I was New Year's Day, and I remember sitting out by the pool with my kids, and I just sat back and I said, boy, am I happy. That was your first yeah. exit. Yes. But it was over sleep deprivation. Mainly, yes. Mm -hmm. the, the Church of Scientology, Sea Organization, are supposed to be their clergy. They call it the clergy. Right. But they don't really care if you eat, if you sleep, or if you get medical at all. They only care about the product. Get that product. I don't care what you have to do to get it. Mm -hmm. uh, popular phrase is burn the midnight oil. Mm. Uh, burn the midnight oil <laughs> and work. Early morning oil. <laughs> Whatever oil you want, burn it. <laughs> to yeah. increase. And wouldn't you say that a lot of this emphasis is on money? And revenue. Oh, absolutely. Everything it's that I did. Toward, when you said product, what you really mean is cash. Right. Whatever product you're getting results in cash for the church. So get that product, get it done, and you know somebody's going to buy it. What made you come back to the church? Well, I was still of the mindset that this was the right thing to do. I mean, I you know I thought maybe I was being run by somebody that wasn't running me correctly or something. I justified it. My husband, I left my husband. So, okay, stop.